el Nuestra.online, plataforma Moodle de la Unidad Educativa Privada Nuestra Señora del Camino. Welcome to English NNC with me, your teacher, Alberto Martinez. On today's episode, we're going to talk about past perfect continuous. The past perfect continuous, also known as past perfect progressive, is a verb tense which is used to show that an action that started in the past and continued to happen after another action or time in the past. Let's see. This is a grammar structure. Affirmative form, we have subject, I, and then we have had. This had the auxiliary is in past tense. It can be used for everybody. So it doesn't matter the subject, you're going to use had. Being, which is the past participle of be, and then we have teaching is a verb. The main verb is teach and we add ing form. You see, that's the gerund right now and the complement. I'll give you another example with she. She, he, it, that's the subject. And as you can see, the auxiliary is the same. It doesn't change. So you can use had for everybody. It doesn't matter the auxiliary, it's had. So the past participle of be, working, the main verb is work, we add ing form to form the gerund, it's working, and the complement. That is a formula for the affirmative form. Let's see the negative form. For the negative form, you just have to add nt, which is not. So the subject, the auxiliary, plus not. Remember, always in past because we're working in past perfect. So being past participle, teaching, which is the main verb, in gerund, ing, and the complement. Again, she, he, she, it. Worried about the subject. It will be hadn't for all of them. So she is a subject, had, not, hadn't, being the past participle. And the ing form for the complement. So it is past perfect because the auxiliary is in past, it's perfect because of being, and it's continuous because of the ing. That is why we call it past perfect continuous. For the question, interrogative form, we move had to the beginning because it's a question. Have you been teaching English before 2020? Let's see. So this is the auxiliary the subject. Remember the auxiliary is in past. Being, which is the past participle of being. The verb again in ing form, English before 2020 or 2020, which is a complement. And now we can answer this question affirmative. So we say, yes, you, it's going to become I, had, it's going to be again had, been, continues being, been, and you continue the same way, the same way. You don't have to change anything. The only changing is this to I, because the question was you and had. So had she been working for a long time? So had with she, I told you, remember, this is for everybody. It doesn't matter if it is he, she, it, or I, we, and they. So it's had the auxiliary, subject, past participle of be, which is been, working, is a verb in ing form, the general form, and the complement. Then imagine that you're going to answer this question, negative form. So you say no, you move she, you move had, 
and then you continue with the same. Being is going to be being, not because it's negative, so you say had it, working, and the complement for a long time. Well, my friends, I hope that you like this part of the video. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. El Nuestra Punto Online.